Right now, law enforcement agencies statewide focusing on patrols on distracted driving. It marks the beginning of Distracted Driving Awareness Month, which is one of the top reported risk factors for deadly crashes in our state. And it is a growing problem. Last year's distracted driving rate jumped 3% compared to the year before. Fox 13's John Hopperstad is live this morning with more from Washington State Patrol on Distracted Driving Month. John. Hi guys, yeah, police are going to be out on the highways through April 10th doing emphasis patrols looking for distracted drivers. As you mentioned, a large percentage of deadly crashes in our state caused by distracted driving. It can really be anything from eating while you're driving to messing around with the radio to these things. These are the big culprits here a lot of times. Cell phones, we're looking at our cell phones while, our, while we're driving and that is a bad scene, especially if you end up in one of these crashes. We're joined by a trooper Rick Johnson with the Washington State Patrol. You know, you've been around long enough to remember what it was like before cell phones, but how much more dangerous is it now that people have these in their hands and they're out driving? Well, I think, you know, technology is great, but there's more distractions. Like when I first started driving, it was an AM radio. Um, yes, I'm old. <laughs> I, I think that, you know, technology also can make things safer as far as, you know, the Bluetooth, if people choose to use that. But yeah, I mean, there's so many things to, to distract you that, you know, beyond, you know, even eating, uh, you, you know, drink a cup of coffee or um, other vehicles around you or things going on. You guys are going to be out doing these emphasis patrols. What specifically are you looking for when you're out there? Well, I think a distracted driver, uh, you know, calls our attention by, by a primary violation, possibly, you know, not signaling. Lane travel, maybe drifting onto the shoulder, which which all can be dangerous. So something's going to, you know, typically sparks our attention, and then we, you know, look a little further and see whether somebody's on the phone or distracted some other. We've talked about drowsy driving can sometimes look like an impaired driver, but it's the same thing with distracted driving, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, we stop a lot of vehicles for, you know, driving that can can mean just about everything. Um, drowsy driving dangerous, obviously impaired driving dangerous, distracted driving dangerous. And they all can, can look the same. You're exactly right. Yeah. Some of what we do out there, a lot of us, we, we'll put that on the phone, but when we get to the stoplight and we're fully stopped, we might pick it up and start looking at it. Tell me why that is a terrible idea as well. When, when you think about it, at a stoplight, there's distractions. Maybe there's a crosswalk, a pedestrian. And if somebody behind you gets impatient and the light turns green, they want you to go right away. You may be startled. Uh, there's there's vehicles coming from the other way. I mean, I always tell people my green light, pause for a minute. Well, not a minute, but a time to make sure no one's running the red light. So there's a lot of things that could happen if somebody's distracted at a stoplight. I mean, typically the vehicle's still going to be in drive, mm -hmm. and you're still in control of that vehicle. And, and the law requires you not to have that phone in your hand and be spread distracted yeah. by So keep your head up, keep paying attention even Absolutely. when you're at that stop. Absolutely. All right, Rick Johnson, thanks so much for joining us this yeah. morning. And you know, this can really lead to some tragic consequences. We spoke with the father earlier this week who lost his son to somebody who was distracted while they were driving. Uh, and it's not just state troopers that are gonna be out here on these emphasis patrols. A hundred police agencies across Washington state are gonna be looking for distracted drivers over the next several days looking for people who are on their cell phones while they're driving. Again, that emphasis patrol runs through April 10th. Guys, we'll send it back to you.